Hi, at JustPay, we build the fundamental products and platforms that make online commerce viable and successful. The systems we have built handle 100 million transactions on a daily basis, totaling annual TPV of 500 billion USD. In fact, 25% of India's UPI transactions are processed by JustPay's tech stacks across the ecosystem. Sounds exciting? It indeed is. Because building reliable systems that can handle such scale requires taking on hard engineering problems head-on. Let's hear from some of the key stakeholders who make this happen. Hey, I'm Vimal. I'm the founder of JustPay. When we started JustPay, um, UPI was not there. Uh, payments used to be really bad in India. The success rate used to be around 40-50% and we were able to see that the billion people will pay online every day. That's what really excited us about payments that the fundamentals to make commerce happen, we have to make it super frictionless and we have to make it super secure. In fact, JustPay right now does around 100 million transactions every day. Um, and that is all because of greatness of UPI. Uh, and we have been involved with UPI even a couple of years before UPI launched. Every, every time you do a UPI transaction, uh, you are touching the code we wrote. And uh, our engineers are super happy about it. We also built the Beam app, uh, which also set uh, uh, the starting point for UPI to make it really, uh, to show the world that something like this is viable. Even after building the Beam app, what we understood is, it is not only about the product that matters that we are building. It is about the framework that we build, which helps us build lots of products like UPI, like BMAP. So we started uh, building our own frameworks. Uh, that is when uh, our Presto framework was born. And along the way, we also realized that the typical ways of programming is not good enough. It's not great enough. So we stumbled upon functional programming. In fact, stumbled upon a language called Haskell and uh, now a language called Rust, uh, which gives us enough of uh, malleability or expressiveness. At the same time, a lot of stability. In, in fact, going back to Presto, Presto is powering payment pages of a lot of top merchants in India. And you might have also seen JustPay uh, powering this automatic OTP reading. Those are all built with the Presto framework. EMAP was built using Presto. Uh, right now, some of you might be familiar with Namayatri. Namayatri is built using Presto and it's all built with functional programming. And all of these are coming from people who are sometimes interns or freshers. And they have been able to level up their abilities. And because of the frameworks and the platforms that we are building, a uh, lot of times we don't even tell them what you're building is something that a 10-year experience would do. So apart from languages, the other big uh, tech area uh, that we realized which is important and which is super exciting is systems. Because a lot of times when we build systems and when we scale to, let's say, like a thousand, uh, hundred million transactions as we do every day, you have to be confident that it has to work all the time, right? It can't go down. And some of the great examples are, uh, are cloud systems like AWS and uh, GCP Azure. Uh, they are powering most of the software, most of the cutting edge companies these days. We are also doing that for our own domain. And we are also doing something more than um, some of the things that are already done in the cloud systems, typical cloud systems, because payments has something more than that, right? When you are making an online payment, whether you are choosing an UPI, a digital wallet, net banking, or entering your card details, the page, the checkout page, where you do all this is powered by JustPay across top merchants in India. This page helps in offering better payment experience for customers and better conversion rates for merchants. So what are the engineering problems we face while building such a seamless checkout experience product? There are two challenges. The first challenge is efficiency. We aim to deploy our code across all three platforms, iOS, Android, and web, simultaneously without separate timelines. To achieve this, we have developed our own cross-platform native UI framework called Presto. What do we mean by Presto, a cross-platform native UI framework? As a developer, you write the code just once and it automatically translates to iOS, Android, and web platforms as a code. That's awesome, right? We developed this in-house. There are other native UI frameworks available in the market for us to take it up. Why bothering building in-house? 
We developed this in-house because it is crucial for us to keep the size of the SDK within preferred limits. And it also allows us to maintain a lean code base without compromising on quality. The second challenge is to ensure the payment page looks different for each merchant. The page should naturally blend with merchant app theme and it cannot look same across all merchants. A grocery delivery app's payment page should look completely different from say a gaming merchant app page or a checkout page on a ticketing platform. This means we need to do customization at scale. How do we achieve customization at scale? Here too, we rely on another framework which we have built in-house called JustPay Studio. We created this JustPay Studio which has nearly 4,000 knobs that a merchant can adjust to customize the look and feel of their checkout page. This enables the merchant to give a tailored experience for their app without losing the essence of their brand. We power native experience for merchants in the form of SDK sitting inside the merchant app. Now this adds to the complexity of creating a resilient SDK framework which can reside in diverse merchant apps. Let's say from e-commerce merchants to a SaaS merchant to a D2C brand. Currently, our SDK has 1.5 billion plus installs across different apps and platforms. This means the SDK has to be lean, reliable, so that merchant can trust us and integrate the SDK without worrying about whether this SDK is going to cause any crash for my app or is it going to degrade the overall experience. We are in a critical path of the online purchase journey and the engineering and experience bar is very high. This means at JustPay, engineers don't just code, we are about crafting deep engineering solutions for complex problems. If you are an engineer who is passionate about solving problems at scale using innovative and deep engineering frameworks, JustPay is a paradise for you. Over the last decade, we have been solving for payment problems in India and that has given us a lot of experience and learnings. We want to take all these learnings to the global market and that is why Hyperswitch was born. Hyperswitch is an open source payment switch for the international markets. And I want to talk about the approach towards building Hyperswitch. A few things that made this product uh, really exciting. Firstly, we decided to operate on an open core principle right from day one. So we were heavily inspired by Linux and uh, we want to build something like Linux for payments. Uh, like a trusted unification layer where there is complete freedom for the user and there are no lock-ins. Secondly, we want to put a lot of emphasis on performance, reliability and agility as primitives in the core product. That is why we built the entire product from scratch using a system software like Rust. Lastly, the product growth is completely driven by the community. Ever since we open sourced Hyperswitch, we have reached close to 9k stars on GitHub. And today we have 1000 plus members on our community channels. This includes developers, business owners, product managers, CXOs and so on. They are actively using the product, giving feedback and asking the hard questions. Now this community led approach is pushing to improve the product each and every day and taking us towards the right direction. In the fintech payment space, an open source product of large scale is something that is not very common. That makes the journey of building Hyperswitch a more exciting and a very rewarding experience. What we did in India, the 100 million transactions per day we do every day and our contributions to the ecosystem to UPI, what is the equivalent for that for the world? So we are working hard on what is the equivalent of a system like UPI for the global market. And Hyperswitch is a part of that vision. And something like Hyperswitch, which is a unifier of the diversity, will enable a lot of different kind of solutions around the world to sprout. And some of these solutions will be like UPI. We see that Payments doesn't need to stop with some of the areas where we are in the uh, consumer side of payments. B2B payments is uh, another big area which will open up. FinOps is another area which will open up. And credit is another area that is also we are already working on. We have been working on some of the open systems around credit. Uh, it is uh, yet to manifest in a big way. But all of these we are uh, super focused on. Um, in fact, 
what is the next innovation in the internal frameworks that we are building which will help us build all this diverse set of software in a very reliable we are seeing ai is going to play a big role we are looking at building our own ai copilots our own ai software which are going to be augmenters of our creators thousand people who are there in just pay how can they become as powerful as 10000 people so how do we augment the abilities of our people so we are building a lot of custom ai software and our belief is that is the future of ai it is about human augmentation and uh, that is a super exciting area that we are seeing that we want to invent we want to invent like it is some science that we would invent i feel in the next few years i think that everybody wants to go deep everybody is looking for fundamental understanding and fundamental expression in fact some people are the people who ask lot of why questions some people are the ones who go and just do it without asking why and such doers the depth in there is like they have forgotten themselves and they are in their full and they are doing it that is also something that we are always excited about working with such people and we are also excited about work, working with the why kind of people people who will ask why question why question the reductionists who break things and some people are both both ways uh, and also a lot of times people who know that there is so much more to do uh, they are in sync with us uh, yeah there is so much more to do i think you will agree with that then then apply to us <laughs> yeah